Hey everyone, here's a quick demo of OpenVTX, a little project I've been working on recently. Um, the whole idea is to implement the smart audio and tramp protocol correctly on janky little VTXs you buy cheap on AliExpress, wherever else. So here's a EWRF VTX setup on my quad. Uh, this guy you can buy about five at a time for um, probably less than 40 bucks US. So they're incredibly cheap. Here I've got it set up in Betaflight with Smart Audio, currently sitting on FAT4 and 25 milliwatts. Uh, the goal here is to try and get all of our power settings, say within half dB, plus or minus. Uh, you can see my power table. I've got it set up nearly just in 3 dB steps, so doubling of milliwatt output. Uh, and at 25 milliwatts, 14 dB, we're pretty much spot on. If we go down to the lower end of our frequency spectrum, say E4, and if we go down to the frequency, which is close to it, we can see we're pretty much on our 14 dB again. And if we jump up to the upper end of our frequency spectrum, We're within that half dB of 14 again. Uh, if we go back to FAT4 in the middle, uh, we also have 10 milliwatt, which is 10 dB. Now the power table here isn't set in stone. OpenVTX is set up to allow any uh, power setting you want. So you can type in any dB here, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 26. So very fine control. Now if we go 50, so 50 milliwatt is 17 dB. Uh, 100 milliwatt is our 20 dB, 200, so it should be our 23. And the 400 setting here, so 400, by the time you get up to the high settings like this, you're not really looking for precise control, you just want all the power. So this is your YOLO setting, it's just going to give you everything it's got. So for FAT4, right in the middle of our spectrum, we're going to get about 470. If I go down to E4, the lower end, we are going to get... closer to 500 and with some better cooling uh, that'll be sustained over 500 milliwatt. Let's go back to our FAT4. Uh, we've also got our pit mode here. So pit mode on, change the channel. Right off. And we're back on 10. Now, OpenVTX also supports Tramp. So if I grab my config for Tramp, so here I have, this is going to set up my serial for Tramp, and then my Tramp VTX table. Same power settings. But once again, you can put in any milliwatt setting you want in here. See now I have tramp set up. Now it hasn't detected the tramp protocol yet. OpenVTX sets and detects and locks the protocol on power up. So if I power cycle, let me just refresh the screen. Now we've got our tramp protocol. Now we can set any power we like, turn on pit mode, change channel, so on and so on. If you want to give it a go, I've got the repo link in the description. 
there it has a link to the VTX uh, and some instructions on how to flash it through platform IO. Cheers.